Was? Hello, Shotokan Karate family. Welcome to this class. Today we're looking at hip movement. So last time, um, the last Global Martial Arts University YouTube Live class, we focused on kicks. So Sensei Sara went through all the kicks that we have and did some cool repetitions. And today we're looking at hip movement and practically only hip movement because hip movement, you know, in Shotokan Karate, this is where we create our energy and this is where we need to train most. So let's start with a quick uh, hip warm-up. Let's go to a wide stance and do some hip twists. Try to find your maximum flexibility. If it hurts, then you do just be a, a bit careful here. You can also go into an extreme here, really push so that you see where your extremes are. Yes, so apparently everything works. Cool. Okay, let's add some speed to it. The important thing is if you have a belt here, it should actually swing, see? Let's add some speed to it. Swing your belt from side to side. Now let's add the arms. Keep them straight here. Just make it a bit harder for your hips because you straighten them out, you straighten them out. So you need more energy in your hips. Don't forget to breathe. We're in the warm up phase here. Join me here. Do some explosive movements with your hips. Very nice, yummy. Let's do some hip turns. And the other side. Go to the extremes here. And switch direction. Very nice, good job. At home or in the park or wherever you are in the world. Great that you could join me here today with a bit of training. So we're talking about and working on our hip movement today. So let's actually start doing some karate. So let's go into a kumite stance, fighting stance. We have our karate fists closed. We go into a pretty narrow stance, it's called Tachikata Kumite. And we just bounce around. Just make sure that our heart stays pumping. We add, um, we have our fists at between eye and chin level. Just bounce around. If you have a partner, great, then you could bounce around. And then what we are doing now is we're adding a Kizamitsuki, Kizamitsuki. That's the one, the fist where the front foot is. So my here in my video, my left foot is in front, so I punch forward. Here, important here is what are my hips doing? I push forward with my hip. Follow me here. Look at my hips, feel your hips. Keep your other arm up. The hand should not come down. Always keep it up in a kumite stance. And switch. So I have my right foot and my right arm in front. Kizamitsuki. Kizamitsuki. Ich. Ni. San. Shi. Go, rock, sit, hatch, cue, and tune, switch. This time we're adding another punch to it. So it's Kizamitsuki, Gyakutsuki. Look at my hips and my legs. Kizamitsuki, Gyakutsuki. So I turn on my foot and push my hip forward. 
Kisamizuki, Gyakuzuki. Let's do that slowly. Kisamizuki, Gyakuzuki. Hip is important here, hip. Hip movement. It's all about hips today. Follow me here. Let's do 10 of them each. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rock. Sitch. Hutch. Two. And you. Switch. Keep bouncing around. We want to make our heart pump a bit. Each. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rock. Sitch. Hutch. Q. And Q. And yame. Let me quickly check. Yes, everything all right. Technique works. So let's add another technique here. So look at the hips. We have Kizamizuki, where we have Hanmi. We have Gyakutsuki, where we are going to Shomen. So our hips turn all the time. Let's add a third technique here. Kizamizuki, Gyakutsuki, and Ageuke. Right, so let's stay in Senku Tsudachi actually. So Tachi Katakumite, sorry. Hich, Ni, San. Right, let's do this. I start with my left foot in front. Hich, Ni, San. Hich, Ni, San. Look at your hips. Today it's all about hips, all about hips, nothing else important. Hich, Ni, San. Hich, Ni, San. Okay, let's do 10 of them on each side. Each knee, sun. That was each knee. Sun. She. Go. Rock. Sitch. Hatch. You. And you. Let's bounce around, no switch yet. Let's do it really slow so that you focus again on your hips. It's easy to forget that we are working with the hips today. So, each knee, sun. Each knee, sun. Hips. Switch. And the other side. Each knee, sun. Again. Each knee, sun. Okay. Let's do 10 of them on one count. Each. Knee. Sun. Rock. Sitch. Hutch. Two. Don't let your hand guard down. And you. And again here, let's do it once really slow. Focus on your hips again. Hitch, knee, sun. And yame. Ray and yoi. So that was the warm up of today's class. Let's go into what we actually want to do. We want to train some kion and put this together into a short combination of different techniques that we do with our upper body. So let me quickly show you what we're going to learn today. Os, follow me. Don't follow me here, just watch. So again, what we are doing today is a combination of different movements. And the cool thing about it is that each time we go from Hanmi to Shomen or even Gyaku, uh, Gyaku Hanmi. So 
let's first start putting this combination together so that at the end of the class probably or hopefully we'll be able to do this all together. So let's start with the stepping. That's classical stepping into Zen Kutsudachi. Us, Rei, Yoi. Hands on your hips. Keep your upper body as stable as possible and step into Zen Kutsudachi. Each front stance. Ni. San. Shi. Now we are at the, uh, we have to go actually go back or we turn around. This time we turn around, so we look at Mawate. Mawate, we come together and go out again. Ich, Ni, San, Shi. So compression, expansion. Ich, Ni, San, Shi. Compression, expansion. So let's do this a couple of times. Oops, just I had my water. <laughs> my glass of water just turned around. Let's go, let's focus here and clean this up afterwards. Us. Let's add another combination to it. Let's add Gedan Brei, which is a down block, like this. Okay, follow me here. Us, Gedan Brei. Each. In Gedan Brei, we go into a honey position, so 45 degrees turned. Hip. Stay upright here. Knee. San. Shi. Mawate. Each. Knee. San. Shi. Mawate. Here, um, when you step, try to keep as low as possible. Stay really low, like a cat moving, uh, approaching its target. Each. Knee. San. Shi. Mawate. Ni. San. Shi. Mawate. Let's add some speed to it. Ich. Ni. San. Mawate. Ich. Ni. San. Shi. Mawate. And yame. So today, we're really looking at these hips. I will tell this all the time throughout the course. Hip movement. So if you go into a Zen Kutsudachi, we have, and uh, get on by, we have 45 degree angle here. Now let's add a second technique. Let's add uh, Gyakutsuki to it. Gyakutsuki comes by pushing from the back leg. So we have, in, we are in showman afterwards. So each knee. All right, let's try this. Ray, Yoi, and Hajime, Ich, Ni, San, Shi, Mamate, compression, expansion, Ich, Ni, San, Shi, and a couple of uh, another ones. Each ni san shi mawate. Each ni san shi mawate. And yame. So again, it's really hard to lose focus on what we actually want to do today. We want to focus on the hips and nothing else. As soon as we start working with our upper body on these techniques, it's hard to lose, or it's easy to lose focus. So again, we're adding another technique. We're adding yeah, Oitsuki. So it's Keidanbarai, Gyakutsuki, Oitsuki. And here, we really want to over-exaggerate the hip movement. This is not a sparring class today. We really want to over-exaggerate what we do with our hips here, okay? Let's start this from the other side this time. So we have Kedambarai, Yakutsuki, Oitsuki, or Kedambarai, Nitsuki. Rei, Yoi. Kedambarai, Nitsuki. 
一、二、三、四、五、二、三、四、五、Let's add some energy and punch explosiveness to it. 一、二。三，好的。Don't forget your hips. It's easy to forget. Just focus on your upper body. Don't do that. It's the hips. So knee, 三，四，好的。Yummy, ready. And yoga. So let's add another technique. We've had Kedambarai, Hanmi, Yakutsuki, and Shomen, Oitsuki, and Hanmi. Let's add Agiuke. And this is like a Gyaku Hanmi, so really over exaggerate the turning of your hip as far as you can. Really create this flexibility of your hips. Okay, let's add this. Let's start slowly. Ray, Yoi. So we have Kedambarai, Nitsuki, and Ageuke. Ready? Ich! Ni! San, Shi, Is, Mamate, Is, Ni, Is, San, Is, Yan, Is, Mamate, Is, and let's add some speed to that. If you are already familiar with this combination, then it's probably easier for you. If this is all new, keep doing your pace. It's important to stay in your technique, in your body, and don't be rushed if uh, other people uh, demonstrate it's too fast for you. So we have each now. Let's go to knee. Knee. Is. San. Shi. Mate. And let's add some more energy and speed for those uh, brown or black belts that uh, work together with me in this live class today. So, knee. Sun. She. Mate. And yame. So, again. It's all about the hips today. It's actually not so important what we do with our upper body, with our arms. It's the hips that count today. Let's go a step back with our speed, with our intensity, and do a better focus on our hips. Let's start from this side. So for this time, we stay with the Ageuke at the end. Only next time, we're adding another technique. So, each. Really stay strong here. Push your hip to the one side. Knee. Sun. She. Mate. Knee. Sun. Yum. And mamate and yummy. So not everybody has this lots of space here where we can do four steps. Let's quickly, quickly look into one technique that we can apply here. If you're in a really small room, like in a hotel room um, or in your own bedroom or whatever, and you want to train anyway, you don't have space. 
What can we do? Instead of stepping, we can do the following. Ray, yoi, each. Go back and out again. Go back. So follow me here. Instead of stepping forward, we step back with the, with the leg that's in front of us. Let's do this for a couple of times. Right. Yoi. Let's do this slowly. It's called Kirikayashi, the replacement step. And each. Knee. San. Shi. Go. Rock. Sitch. Hutch. Q. And you. Ray. And Yoi. So what's next? We've done Kedambarai in Hanmi, Gyakutsuki, Oitsuki. We have an Agiuke. We're in Shomen or even Gyaku Hanmi here as far as we can push. Next will be Sotouke. So Sotouke is this one where at the end, the, the fist is at the end, is at the height of our shoulder and we um, push somebody away from the outside. So it's the outside block. So let's add this to the combination and do some stepping. For those of you who don't have space at home, follow me here, but just do the Kirikayashi which is the replacement step we just tried. Os. So we do Kedambarai, Niizuki, Ageuke and Sotouke. Also here, hips. It's the hips that matter. Os. And Hitch. Ni. Sun. She. Mabate. And knee. Sun. And she. And yame. So you should be able to feel how your hips move, how everything turns by this time. So let's add the next and last technique so we can go to the progression of this whole technique. I don't know if you can follow me at home. Try your best. If it's too fast for you, just do it slower. And then when I do say yame, then get together with me again and start with the next one. So everybody can take his uh, part from this, from this exercise. What's good for him and her. So let's add another technique, as I said. The another one is the inside block, Ushiuke. So let's try this. I'm going to show you each. Sotouke and Ushiuke. So we come here between belt and armpit level and push out. So this is a Gyakuhami, classical Gyakuhami. Okay, let's see from front. Each, San, Shi, Go, and Rok. Let's start from this side. Let's do this slowly. You see, it's always the hips moving, and by the end of the class, we should have really Tender hips and uh, good flexibility. Us, Ray, Yoi. So we do the whole combination. Let's do it slowly so that everybody can follow. Each. And Ushiuki at the end. 
Nee. Sam. Nein, die Arme. Machen wir das. Nie. San. Jan. Mauté. Und Jamé. So we have the whole combination. Let's try to increase our proficiency in this combination. Still, we focus on the hips. Always today we focus on the hips. Just add a little bit of, uh, a little bit of strength, a little bit of explosiveness to it while keeping our stances low. So this is a, an exercise where we put everything together and it's important to have clear, good technique when we put all this together in order to ingrain it in our muscle memory. Us. Right? Yoi. So we do the whole combination. We start slowly and increase speed. Try to keep our concentration up. Us. Hashime. Ich. Ni. Sun. Yon. Mote. Ni. Sun. And yon. And mawate and add some speed to it. Ni. San. Yon. Mawate. Ni. Sun. And Yan. Mamate, even more speed. Let's try to focus here. Mamate. Sun. Yan. And Mauté. And Yame. Hus. Ray. And Yoi. So that was a short class about putting it all together. Putting the hips together. Putting the stance together with the hips hip movement, putting the upper body techniques in the right order. It's hard to concentrate and it's hard for everybody, hard for beginners definitely, but we can do this when we stay, when we stay trying. So today the legs haven't been working too much. Before we go into legs, let's try to keep this little combination in our minds and do this a couple of times do the, the, the game, it's called Jonas Says. It's a conditioning game. So we do the combination, follow me here. You're going, for example, in the left front stance, Senko to Dutch. Let's do it slowly. And we change. Now I say something, um, for example, sit-ups and push-ups, and you do the same. So we do three 
um, no five push-ups and five sit-ups every time I say something. Okay, let's start this game. Everybody ready? Do the conditioning game. Hashimi! <laughs> Push-ups, five push-ups. And right again. Hashime. Again, push-ups, five push-ups. Okay, ready? Hashime. Sit-ups. Let's do five sit-ups. Hitch, me, san, chi, go. Ready? Hitch. Sit-ups. Five sit-ups. Hitch, me, san, chi, go. And ready? Hitch. Change. Sit ups. Again, five sit ups. So we want to get some speed here. And we're ready for next time. Hashimi. Switch. Push ups. Okay, uh, yame, while we're on the ground, let's go into another conditioning, let's go into plank position, and hashime. And yame. So, stays up on your knees. So there was a short class about hips, hip movement, hip involvement in Shotokan Karate. Everything comes from the hips in Shotokan Karate. We need to stay flexible. We need to get more flexible. That's the main focus, one of the main focuses actually. So today we looked at hip and incorporated many techniques um, with different degree of complexity into this uh, class. But the main focus was hips. And I think this is important in our Shotokan Karate journey and also in life, that we choose our main focus, we choose our goal, we choose where we want to focus. And then we do, we go through Karate and we go through life never losing our focus. So that is it. So let's do a quick bow. Stay on your, on your knees. Let's do a quick meditation. So close your eyes. Feel your breath. Open your eyes again. So stand up slowly. Right. And yoy. So that was a short class about hips. I think we've talked a lot about hips. We um, worked a lot with our hips today. Um, give them some freedom today. Look at them, drink a lot of water, and see you next time in class. Us!